Hey guys, today I'm talking about like mental health and victim complexes and just psychic accountability in general. I mean, you saw the title of the video, you know what it's about, let's go. So, I mean, okay, I'm not going in with like a script or a like even a vague idea of the structure in which I'm going to be talking about this, but I'm just going to be yapping about my opinions on this. So what I'm talking about in a vague sense is like people who use their mental health problems as an excuse to just act shittily. And I'm sure you know someone who has acted like this. I'm sure at some point in your life you have known someone who has done something incredibly shitty and then been like, oh, it's not my fault because like I have depression, I have, an anx I have anxiety, so it's not my fault. And it's like, okay, that's what I'm talking about. So, okay. I'm coming at this with the point of view of someone who has various mental health problems. I'm sure just by like looking at me or hearing me talk, it's pretty obvious. It's it's pretty obvious there's something wrong with me. Um, because okay, full disclosure, I have depression, I have anxiety, and I am autistic, and there's probably a couple other undiagnosed things wrong with me, but. I still, like, I make endeavours to be a good person, you know? Because I have morals. I have morals and I care about the people around me. Also, I love Monster Energy. I love it so much. I have a tattoo of the Monster Energy logo. But anyways, what I truly, truly hate is people who, like, act absolutely abhorrently and then we'll just be like, oh, but it's not my fault. It's not my fault because I'm depressed. And it's like, dude, it is your fault. You're a fucking adult. Because, okay, here's the thing. When I was like 14, 15, I would do some shitty things. I would act not well towards people. I would trauma dump on my friends unprompted. But once, like, once people started telling me, like, hey, Deckard, um, that's not okay. That's making me uncomfortable. I was like, okay. I'm sorry, I won't do that again. And that was it. <laughs> I fucking stopped doing that. But it's so hard for some people, it seems, to stop doing that. Because, like, so many people, you'll tell them, like, hey, this thing you did made me uncomfortable. Or this thing you did was offensive. And they'll just be like, well, um, actually, it wasn't my fault. Because I'm mentally ill and I'm traumatised. And it's like, no, it's still your fault. You're a fucking adult. At this point, everyone... I mean, I am, and everyone in my life is an adult, yet still people keep using this excuse of like, oh, but I'm mentally ill. It's like, okay, imagine you're in a driving lesson, and you're driving, and, and like, you turn, okay, imagine you're in a driving lesson, and you just turn a corner without signalling, and your driving instructor is like, hey, by the way, you're supposed to signal when you turn a corner. A normal person would be like, okay, my bad, next time I turn a corner, I will signal, and that's it. But, like, these types of people, like, in this situation, it's like, they turn a corner without signalling, the driving instructor is like, hey, by the way, you're supposed to signal, and they're just like, well, actually, I didn't know you were supposed to signal, so it's technically not my fault that I didn't, so therefore, in the future, I will continue to not signal, because it's not my fault, because I didn't know that, like, but you know it now. Um, I know multiple people who use autism as an excuse to just act shittily, which is so fucking stupid because they'll be like oh well i didn't know that this was crossing a boundary because i'm autistic so i don't understand boundaries and it's like autism makes it harder to understand boundaries but once someone tells you that something makes them uncomfortable then you know it okay like as an autistic person i fully know that like it's it takes longer and it's harder to understand boundaries but if someone tells me hey this thing you did or said makes me uncomfortable i'll be like okay I won't do that again. And that's it. I'll learn from my mistake. But so many people will just be like, um, no, I refuse to learn from my mistake because it's technically not even my fault. Like, yes, it is your fault, actually, because you're a grown-up. And, like, a really hard thing with being autistic is being infantilized by everyone. Like, when, once someone knows I'm autistic, they'll be like, oh, you poor baby. Like, no, don't treat me like a fucking child because I'm not one. But then some people will, like, weaponize other people infantilizing them so that they can act like a child and do shitty things without taking accountability and it is so annoying 
and look the abused to abuser pipeline is a very real thing where a person you know they'll get extremely traumatized and as a trauma response they'll start kind of taking out their baggage on other people and eventually become the abuser and it's horrible and it's a really sad thing to watch especially since like for the individual because it's a slow process they often don't even notice it happening they don't know that they're becoming the abuser but it's still happening regardless but like i don't know i guess a really important thing is just self-awareness like being aware of what you're doing being aware of the fact that you are slowly becoming the monster that you were so afraid of um but like yeah it's so weird and i swear some people will literally like it's so obvious in some people because you can see that I don't know. I I don't ha- I yap a lot and I trail off trop- topic a lot. So sorry for like I say way more words than necessary to convey my point. Um. But anyway, some people definitely like refrain from getting help because like they know that their mental illness is like their magical safety blanket to stop them from ever having to take accountability. Because they know that if, as long as they keep being mentally ill, as long as they keep being depressed, then they'll never have to take accountability for anything. Because, look, feeling bad, feeling guilt, and occasionally hating yourself, I feel like that's an important part of life. Because if you do something bad, then you need you need to feel bad about it. You need to think, oh shit, like, I, I hurt my friend's feelings. And it's not a nice feeling to have to experience, to know that you did something bad. But it's necessary so that you stop doing it and so that you grow as a person. But it's, I think some people just use the like safety blanket of like, oh, I'm mentally ill so that they never have to feel that. And it's really shitty because it's like, that's not an excuse. It's a reason. Sometimes being mentally ill can be a reason for acting shittily and selfishly, but it's not an excuse. Because you still, you're still an adult. You still need to, like, act responsibly and be responsible for your own actions and shit like that, I don't know. I fuck with monster energy heavy. In my last video, someone commented being like, oh, please stop vaping. It's not good for you. Like, (gasps) I know, I'm trying to stop vaping. Not because I have, like, I want to stop using nicotine. Because, full disclosure, like, I smoke a lot. The only reason I want to stop vaping is because it makes me enjoy cigarettes less. Because vaping has raised my nicotine tolerance so much that, like, my, like, smoking feels less good. And I want to stop vaping so that it lowers my nicotine tolerance so that I can enjoy cigarettes like I used to. (laughs) Which, that's not a good reason to stop vaping or whatever. Um... I love nicotine. I love substances. Um, but anyways, like, some people as well, they will just use the stupid excuses like, oh, I have BPD, I have bipolar, I have ADHD, therefore what I did is excusable. Like, no, it's not. It's actually not. Um, like, I know someone who was like, oh, I cheated on my partner because I have autism, so I don't understand boundaries, so it's not my fault. Like, excuse me? It is your fault. You know it's wrong. You just don't want to have to feel bad about it. So you're using the shelter of, like, mental illness. And often people will use, like, the label of, oh, it was a trauma response to avoid accountability. Like, bitch, I'm traumatized too. I have so much wrong with me. But being a good person, like, adhering to your morals is the bare fucking minimum. It's the bare minimum. Being a good person and treating the others around you with care and with kindness, that is the bare fucking minimum. And you shouldn't have to be, like, being mentally well doesn't actually help you with that. You're either, you're like, you're you're a good person, you're a bad person. Okay, that, that's quite polarizing. And it's not as simple as that. Because good people can do bad things and bad people can do good things. And I'm oversimplifying it quite a lot. But still, like, I don't know. Like, I knew a person who would who literally would like cheat on her girlfriend like a lot and be like oh but it's not my fault because like i'm neurodivergent and i i have bpd and like i do these things when i'm in manic episodes but like no but you know you're doing a bad thing stop it 
I know that for some people it's not as easy as just being like, oh, stop it. But also, look, I fully understand more than most. Because, like, if you know me in real life, you, you, you know. <laughs> but, like, come on. Look, yes, being mentally ill makes things harder. But unfortunately, that is your cross to bear. That is your responsibility. And yes, your friends can be there for you. They can help you. But there's a limit. There's a limit to how much people should tolerate. There's a limit to how much people should tolerate, like, being abused and manipulated and lying to. Uh, lied to, whatever. Um, sorry. I've, like, I've had a couple drinks. But anyways, um, as well, like, I think we've gotten to a point where, like, there are so many micro niche communities of mentally ill people where they all validate each other's behaviors. Like, I've seen some truly atrocious reels on Instagram of, like, people unashamedly being like, oh, me when I put a camera in my boyfriend's room so I can, like, watch his every move. Like, okay, I know you may be joking, but there's, like, an entire community of people who are taking that seriously and being like, oh, yeah, me too. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? People are literally normalizing abuse and being like, oh, I'm so cute and quirky for it. I'm so cute and quirky for, like, stalking my partner and being unhealthily controlling because I'm just so cute and mentally ill. Like, dude, stop. Um, Some people need therapy. And that, okay, I can't lie. That's an insane thing to say because if you live in England, like, the NHS is shit. Um, also, something I think is quite funny is sometimes I've, like, talked to people about, like, health insurance, and some sometimes people will be like, oh, but you don't need in- health insurance. We have the NHS. Like, <laughs> the NHS is so bad, man. The NHS doesn't do shit. If you have any serious health insu- health problems, you need health insurance, or you need to go private. Like, because, okay, I've had quite a few medical problems. I'm, like, quite unwell, like, physically, and I've had also some mental health problems i've been on antidepressants for quite a long time well okay no not right now for a long period of time i was on antidepressants but like yeah if you've ever had serious medical problems that are like ongoing i think you will know that if you live in england you pretty much do have to go private or be on some sort of insurance because the nhs will not fucking help you like beyond having a cold or having the flu they don't really do shit um, so yeah, be- just, okay, I understand that being like, oh, get therapy, that's like, that's not possible for a lot of people, but taking accountability for your own actions and being a grown-up is possible for everyone, and I think a lot of people like to infantilize themselves and be like, oh, but it's not my fault, it's not my fault because I'm mentally ill, but it's like, it is your fault. I just think a lot of people need to grow up. And I know that a lot of this stems from trauma in a lot of people. For so many people, they will be, like, horribly traumatised by an event in their life. And then they will just forever think that they are the victim. And they'll always be like, oh, why does everyone leave me? Why does everyone in my life leave me? It's like, because you're insufferable, man. And it's like, I know that you have the mentality that you are the victim. I know that you have this idea that forever you will be the victim in your story but you're not you're not always the victim and every time you meet someone who's like oh everyone leaves me everyone always hurts me like no if every single friend has left you if every single person in your life has left you the only common factor there is you have you not stopped to think what am i doing to cause this what am i doing to cause people to leave me and it's like, I swear this just comes, it's just, like, it comes from a place of, like, selfishness and narcissism. Because, like, how can you genuinely think that you are always the one in the right? Because you're not. You, like, every single person, no matter what a good person you are, you will always at least accidentally do things wrong and hurt people and offend people. But part of being human is learning from that and, like, just not doing that again. And especially as an autistic person, it's more difficult to learn boundaries. But when a person tells me that I've done something wrong, I learn from that. And yes, it has to be more manual. It takes longer. 
but that doesn't mean I can't do it. But a lot of people just don't want to put in the work to be a good person. And a lot of people just don't want to have to feel bad about themselves for doing something shitty. Because it's not a nice feeling, and I, I understand that. But, like, there's a limit to how much self-pitying you can do before you are just an absolutely horrible, morally reprehensible person. Because, <laughs> like, dude, being mentally ill is not an excuse to be a bad person. I'm so sorry. Like, I'm going to hold your hand when I say this. But if you are lying to your friends or cheating on your partner or just being a shitty person in general, being mentally ill doesn't excuse that. It's not an excuse. Anyways, I hope I covered mo- what of most of what I was supposed to be talking about. But yeah, have a nice day, everyone. Bye. I love you.